was a if that was a junior world cup or a senior world cup i've seen him before at the junior and cadet world championships he's got a very very disruptive style But he's facing world number eight, Federico Vismara. He's 26 years old. He's world number eight. He's a right-hander. He had a silver at Plovdiv at the uh, European Championships last season. But he is now trailing. Now, he was in a round of the quarterfinal match against... World number two, Marte Thomas Cock of of Hungary, and Cock had been uh, pretty dominant uh, in that match. Vismara fought back, brought it level at the end of the match. They went; they were heading to a priority minute. They were still in regular time. And with 1.78 seconds remaining on the clock, instead of letting it run out and go to a priority minute, Matik Thomas Koch launched himself. It was a double. Launched himself right onto the end of Vismara's weapon. And Vismara goes through to the semifinals. Vismara, yes, oh, Ng Ho Ten of uh, Hong Kong in the round of 16. Emrek, 18 year old Samuel Emrek, roll number 227, beat Alexander Bardenay in the quarterfinals. And Kim Jai Won of Korea in the 16. So it's just been one bit of craziness after another. All day. Dennis Ostrovsky of Estonia is our referee for this match. And Aleska Aguilar of Venezuela, our video referee. So get that little jump and wiggle. A little golem hop. Double. for time to straighten his weapon. Core, core. Referee stops. The action. Double. Emrek looking for the counterattack of this Mara is through.
It's one of those rare occasions they do happen where the ends of the blades meet. And time runs out in the first seven for Samuel Emmerich, five for Federico Vismara. Hughes Obrey's face. He was sat in a chair just in front of me when Yannick Burrell was being beaten by Yuvo Freilich. And he turned and he looked just as Samuel Emrek beat Alexander Bardenay. And just like, you know, put his face in his hands. As they say, on any given day, in Epe, anyone can win, anything can happen. And it's been like that all day. Double. Single light for Vismara. Vismara uh, asking for a video review. I'm not sure what he was looking for. Let's see if we get a replay. I get a replay, but there's nothing particularly. It was a bit messy, but the but the call stands. Back to a two-point margin. jump and wiggle. The referee calls halt. Ah. P yellow. Uh, Alaska Aguilar asking for some assistance getting the cards up. Oh, well, now we've lost the score. I 
believe that's seven nine. Score's correct. Now I just need to have the P yellow on both sides. There we go. Well done. One twenty remaining in the second period. And Samuel Imrek. He's going to get, uh, Fismara gets a yellow for turning his back. Double. No hit given. Asmara asking for a video review. Suggesting that Imrek used his non-weapon arm. In an improper way. He did not. Mara gets back within one. And we finish the second. We will go to our second one minute break. Ten for Samuel Emrek. Nine for Federico Vismara. said a couple of times it's been crazy like this all day. Just looking at the replay. And Emrek with those Crazy counter attacks and ducking counters. Dennis Ostrovsky instructs Bismarck to straighten his weapon. this third and final period.
double. Hit given. The double. Well timed there from Vismara. Leveled at 12. Still a minute and 10 to go. Let's see how Samuel Emmerich responds to this challenge. What an odd thing to say. He's 18. He's also beaten Alexander Bardenay. Vismara has seen that jump and wiggle enough times to know how to time his counterattack. And that will do it, but good grief. 15-12, Federico Vismara into the gold medal match. And yet again, You know, we see a glimpse of the future. 